Now, newly elected KZN Premier Nomusa Dube Ngube has just appointed an executive council. She was elected and sworn in yesterday during a special sitting. It follows the resignation of Sitle Zikalala after he lost the race for ANC provincial chair. Senior reporter Pamandla Goke joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Pamandla. Uh, a very interesting list, a lot of women, young women. We saw Sboni Duma being among those now taking over economic development as well as Sitle Zikalala taking over Copta. Absolutely not surprising. I'm just trying to get the attention of Mr. Zigalala, who has just left now as the former Premier of Wazulu Natal. He's been appointed Cocta MEC. It's not surprising. He did say during our one on one interview with him that he was going to accept any deployment that the ANC gives him. So he's been deployed to that portfolio of cooperative governance and traditional affairs. It's something that he said he was going to accept, even becoming the chairperson of a portfolio committee. So right now, as you can see, newly appointed MECs here, and they include Peking Konye, who is the finance MEC for now, and uh, she has been moved from transport to finance. That's Peking Konye. She is the former education MEC, also former health MEC under ANC administrations in KwaZulu Natal, and also Siboni Sotuma is the chairperson of the ANC in the province. It was bound to happen that he was going to get that deployment. Initially those who were campaigning for him said he must just go straight and become the premier of the province, but it's something he turned down and said he was too junior for that portfolio. He has never been a member of the Provincial Executive Council. Of course, he has been a member of the Provincial Legislature, but not of the Executive Council. So he has said that, well, for now he does not believe that he's got enough capacity, experience and skills to run the province provincial government. That's why he opted for a position of becoming an MEC. He's been given the super a department of Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs. Effectively, that simply means he becomes the leader of government business. He will be working very closely with the newly elected Premier of Wazuru Natal, Nomo Sato Bengube. So those are some of the notable appointments, but also that of Dr. Ntutubo Mashaba, who is the provincial treasurer of the ANC, who's been appointed the MEC responsible for public works and human settlements. One of his main tasks now will be to deal with the issue of the flood victims, find space and land for them, as most of them are still living in community halls. So Sipotlomuga moves from Kokta to transport. And then there is a new MEC responsible for education, that is Bali Fraser, former teacher, former member of SATU, former principal, and she's been deployed to head that portfolio of education taking over from Wazim Shengu, who many people say did a very good job during his deployment at that department. Also, Amanda Pan, very young, she comes in to head up the portfolio of sports, arts and culture in the province of KwaZulu Natal. So the issue of transition now with these appointments at least comes to an end. The question is, what will these newly appointed MECs going to do for the people of KwaZulu Natal? Other portfolios such as agriculture have not been affected. The appointment there of Bombis Cholem lawyer remains. Social development, non Tlantla Kosa remains in that portfolio. So those are some of the changes and new MECs that have been announced by the Premier of Wazuru Natal, Nomosa Tubengube. Mm -hmm. All right, Pamatla, thank you very much for that update. I'm sure another conversation that will now start is one of those that will remove the likes of Jomo Sibia as well as Gwazim Shengu, and many political analysts will seek to dissect what could have possibly led to them not being kept on that executive. Indeed, I guess moving forward, many people will be analyzing and, you know, if you look at the performance of Wazim Shengu and Jomos Bia, some people say, well, they were one of the hard-working MECs in this provincial executive. But remember, this is politics. At the end of the day, really, it doesn't matter who the ANC deploys. All that matters is who is going to help change the lives of the people of Wazuru Natal. Some say Wazim Shengu and Jomos Bia are paying the price for losing the provincial conference, but others will say, well, Sikhez Galala was Testing for the position of provincial chairperson made it back, so that will disarm those who are saying this is purging. But 
but we all know in politics, if you lose political power and political contest, there are always consequences, and uh, those consequences come in a form of either losing deployment or just be asked to be relieved of your duties. Sihle Zigalala decided to resign as the Premier of Wazuru Natal after losing that bruising political contest, but he did tell the officials of the ANC that he is available to serve in any capacity except being the Premier of the province. The officials of the ANC in case Red said we need your skills, expertise and experience in the Provincial Executive Council. You have to come back to serve as the MEC. He's been given a very tough portfolio, by the way, of ensuring that municipalities are functioning. A portfolio previously occupied by the current Premier of Wazuru Natal, Nomusa Dubengube. Very challenging a number of municipalities under administration. Let me see who is here. The new MEC responsible for transport and that is Sipotlo Muga. He's the man who used to run the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs in the province. He now moves to the Department of uh, Cocta. Let me, or rather, he now moves to the Department of Transport. Let me see if uh, we'll try and ask him to get closer to us. Just to get a reaction from him. So he's busy being congratulated there and he's busy engaging with some of the people who are there. I'm going to ask my colleague Bongam Kizu to come with me. Pardon me or pardon us for these shaky shots and visuals. Uh, sorry to disturb. Just a quick reaction. You are moving to transport a very serious portfolio. Wazul Natal is one of those provinces that has got the highest rate of accidents. How are you going to ensure that at least you keep this road carnage in Wazul Natal and fix the portfolio that is transport? <laughs> I've just appointed. We are going to work uh, with the team uh, from the department. We'll then deal with the challenges uh, that will be presented. You leave Cocta with a clean audit. Uh, were you expecting this uh, movement to transport? Not at all. Uh, I was just shocked, like everyone, when I was called today uh, to be part of the uh, again the executive uh, council and change to another portfolio. Thank you very much for time. That is MECC Potlomuga, responsible for transport, having been moved from the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, making way for Sihle Zigalala, the former Premier of KwaZulu Natal. And Sihle Zigalala will have to deal with many issues there related to Kokta, including the issue of water provision. Many municipalities have faced very angry residents who have been complaining about the issue of water. And Sipotlomuga has been trying to mediate in the Uku district where there is a water crisis there, community members always protesting week in and week out, complaining about the long-standing issue of lack of water provision in the area. All right. Pamanta will leave it there for now.